Hello, this video is designed to help you understand how to provide accommodations for deaf and hard of hearing participants in a Zoom meeting. This is important because the Americans with Disability Act requires effective communications for all people who are participating in a meeting or in a training session. This is a slide that shows a screenshot of um, the Americans with Disability Act effective communications from the Office of Civil Rights. And it specifically states, the ADA requires that Title II entities, state and local governments, and Title III entities, businesses and nonprofit organizations that serve the public, communicate effectively with people who have communication disabilities. The goal is to ensure that communication with people in these, with these disabilities is equally effective as communication with people without disabilities. Before the session or meeting begins, you should do the following. About one week prior to the session, email all participants asking if an accessibility accommodation is needed. Ensure that all videos, clips, et cetera, are properly captioned. Request a quote from a captioning or interpreting agency. Submit a purchase order request based on the quote. Secure an agency to provide the accessibility accommodation. Two days prior to the session or the event, Confirm with the participants who requested the accommodation that they still planned to attend, still plan to attend the session. You can cancel the accommodation service if needed. Generally, most companies will give you 24 hours to cancel without a financial penalty. Send the following information to the agency providing the accommodation. The name or names of the participant or participants the presentation slides, any handouts, and any vocabulary specific to the presentation. You should also check to ensure that captioning is turned on in Zoom. To do so, you need to go into your settings, scroll down to captioning, and toggle the, uh, the button so that it is blue. You want to allow the use of captions and enable live transcription if needed. You should also allow private chat so that participants can communicate directly with the sign language interpreter or the captioner. This again is in your settings. Scroll down to chat and allow and toggle so it is blue the private chat. You should also turn off the sound notification when someone joins or leaves the session. This is the doorbell sound when somebody joins or leaves the session. This is very distracting for participants who are deaf or hard of hearing. Again, that is in the settings. During the session or the meeting, you should do the following. Turn on closed captioning when showing videos, YouTube clips, any kind of media. The sign language interpreters, you need to pin or spotlight the interpreter's window or windows. You should pause every 20 to 30 minutes to allow the interpreters to alternate. And you should ensure that the captioner or the interpreter is assigned to the same breakout room as the person who is deaf or hard of hearing because they require communication access in a breakout room as well. To assign the captioner to type, you need to go down to the bottom of your screen where you'll see the CC button. That is the live transcript. Then this box will pop up and you want to assign a participant to type. This is for remote real-time captioning. If you do not have remote or real-time captioning, go down to the CC button and you can enable auto transcription. However, you should know that auto transcription is not 508 compliant according to the Americans with Disabilities Act. 
Thank you very much. Good luck with your sessions.